each week in our Joy of Giving series, I said that I was going to share a practical tip. And you might remember last week's practical tip. You might not have thought it was so practical, but it actually is extremely practical. That is to have the mindset that everything we have is from the Lord and is the Lord's. Why is that a practical tip? Because that will actually help you part with what he has given you because you understand that it is his from the beginning. Well, in today's practical tip, I want to share something slightly different with you. Next week, we'll be looking from 2 Corinthians 9 about how our giving is to be planned. And I want to ask, do you plan your giving? Or is it something that's last minute? Is it dependent on whatever is in your purse or wallet at the time that the plate comes around or the time that you, in these circumstances today, uh, move out towards the retiring offering? Is your giving planned? Well, Susan and I, when my stipend comes or when Susan's salary comes in, uh, we have decided on a set proportion of our income that we set aside for giving. And so when our um, amounts come into our bank, we've actually set up a separate bank account, which we call our giving account. So we immediately carve off the set proportion that we've decided into that other account. And that way, at the end of the month or at the end of the pay cycle, if we're running short, it's not our giving which loses out. It's some other discretionary expenditure that that we have to forego because the giving has come out first. And if you're a a Christian couple working uh, together on your giving, then you should sit down and pray and plan and do something similar. But make sure that your giving comes out first. Not only does that remind you uh, of the Old Testament principle that the Lord should have the first fruits of all that comes in, uh, but it also reminds you that it's a priority, that giving generously is a priority, and that if you do your giving first, then every other expenditure that comes in must uh, come in under that, must come in after that is decided. What proportion do you give? Well, that's up for you to decide. We're not told in the New Testament what that proportion should be. Of course, 10% was part of the Old Testament um, giving patterns, but that's never repeated or commanded in the New Testament. Susan and I have always decided that that's a good starting point, but the problem with 10% today is that for some people, for many people, it's actually far too little. And of course, for some, it's a little too far. But whatever proportion you decide, set it out, cut it out, put it aside before any other expenditure comes your way. That's my practical giving tip today to help us to be people who give generously and in a planned and prayerful way.